There were 45 delays and 11 cancellations. All right, new year, new Florida laws. Come January 1st, rules protecting kids from hot cars take effect. Ride sharing also gets more safeguards and rates for workers' comp insurance drops for employers. Capitol reporter Four Saunders tonight walking you through it all. When the Key West rooster crows January 1st, <laughs> one of the biggest changes, the Child Safety Alarm Act taking full effect. Child care facilities like daycares will need to have alarms in vehicles to remind drivers to check for kids before walking away, especially during hot days when heat stroke is a risk. I think this is going to save the lives of children. Senator Linda Stewart carried the policy through the upper chamber in 2021 and says it took nearly five years to finally cross the finish line. I think that the parents themselves feel probably a lot more comfortable knowing that these vans will have this equipment in them and it'll be less of a worry for them. New rules for ride sharing also getting a green light. Among them provisions that the vehicle is up to date on safety recalls and both owner and driver meet minimum state insurance levels. Sponsors call to move towards safety and fairness. We are mirroring what is required by Enterprise or Alamo or any other ones or what you have as requirements for any uh, person driving a car in the state of Florida. Employers can also expect to pay less for workers' comp insurance following this November order by the state's commissioner. David Altmaier signing off on a 4.9% decrease for both new and renewed policies effective on the 1st. One thing not happening, a repeal of Florida's personal injury protection requirement for car insurance. It would have begun in the new year, but DeSantis vetoed the bill, worried it'll increase rates. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.